Um, thank you very much, Asan Sisi, um, Gambian national team player. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, too. Okay, you guys have had a very beautiful run so far here in Cameroon. You came as newcomers, and you are now in the quarterfinal to play Cameroon. Are you guys surprised mm -hmm. by your performance so far in this tournament? Yeah, we are so happy that we are, we are at this stage of the tournament and uh, nobody expected this. But sometimes football is unpredictable. You just do your work and believe in yourself. And at the end of the day, you might see yourself somewhere you never expected. Although we never expected we're going to arrive here, we just believe in ourselves. We are trying to go as uh, high as we can, but we end up here, so we keep believing and uh, nothing is impossible. We keep going and we believe in ourselves. How are the people feeling back home in Gambia? Are they excited? Yeah, everybody didn't expect this, but uh, as I said, it's football. You walk, you believe in yourself and uh, you don't know where you end up. And right now we are here and all the Gambians are proud, they are happy, they believe in this team and uh, they are behind us every moment of this beautiful historic tournament we are doing and we hope to go further. So that's our aim. Now, have you guys gained so much belief? Do you guys now feel, I mean, before you came, I'm sure you would have thought that, okay, we're just going to go there and leave maybe in the first round. Now that you've survived, Mali, Tunisia, and of course Mauritania. Do you now have the belief that you can go all the way to the final? Yeah, but uh, it's not about going to the final. It's about taking it game by game. So we were trying to go out in the group stage <laughs> and we go out to the group stage and uh, now we are in the last 16. We go out, we beat the Guinea and now we are in the quarterfinals. So we are trying to go to semi-final. We are not yet... Uh, looking to the final but we are looking to the semi-final we are in the quarter so we are trying to go to the next stage and we take it game by game because that's the most important thing you cannot think about the final and you have not yet won your game in front of you that's very good thank you for talking about guinea that's also a very big win for you guys what is the strength of yeah, this game yeah. what keeps you what makes you guys so strong so difficult to break down yeah, we are together and uh, we are all uh, we are all ready to fight for the nation and uh, and uh, we respect our tactics and uh, we do what we have to do. We train what we have to train and uh, when we come to the field, we try to run for everybody, help each other and uh, communicate and uh, and we believe that together we can achieve something uh, that the country will be proud of us and. Uh, Together, we achieve all our goals and make history in this Afghan. Your next game is against the host nation. That will be your biggest challenge yet. How are you guys looking forward to facing Vincent Abubakar and the other big stars of Cameroon in Douala? Yeah, yeah they have the best attack in this tournament. They, are, they saw that they are the favorites. They saw that they are the host. It's going to be a difficult game, but uh, it's football. It's football. We just come and try to play our game, respect our tactics, and uh, try to try to penetrate their defense. Yes, they have a good attack. They they score every game they played, but it's going to be a difficult game. But we are trying our best, and we are working uh, the training these past days how to how to play our game and uh, hopefully we will uh, we will try to frustrate them and uh, to try to get what we want. You think that you guys have a chance? You guys are the underdogs. Do you think you can create another surprise yet in Cameroon? You've done a lot already. It's football. It's football. Nothing is impossible. We respect them 100%. They have good players. They have top players. They have the best attack, as I said, in the tournament. So we are just we are just coming, we are just coming to make our nation proud and try to work as a team. It's going to be a difficult game. We we know that, but we are here to play football. We are here to do something. We are not here just to represent 
and play Afghan and go back home. No, we are here to raise our flag high. So we come with full confidence and uh, give them the respect they deserve. But inside the field, we will try to play our game as they are trying to play their game. So that's the way it is. Are you guys worried that you guys might get a card? Are you guys worried that some players might be ruled out for COVID-19? Like Comoros? No, because uh, we already done our tests. Everybody Good. is uh, negative, so Good. that's a Good. positive thing. But uh, this is about CAF. This is not about Cameroon. So CAF, yes. I know they are fair enough to, to put the FIA referee inside. And uh, hopefully, Everything will when will goes right for him, and uh, he will make the good the decisions hope, hopefully. And uh, we will play a fair game, and uh, at the end of the day, we will see who will win. You talked about raising your flags, the Gambian flag. You've raised it so high already. Mm. Even if you lose to Cameroon, mm. you guys are one of the best teams of the tournament already. Have you received any message from your president? Yeah, we, we receive message from our president uh, every time we win a team or go to another state. He's, uh, he's in contact with us and uh, we are so proud and happy that uh, he is there. He is there to support the nation and support us. And uh, we will do our best because we see the support the country are doing. And uh, as you said, everybody is talking about Gambia right now, but uh, that does not have to over exaggerate us because this is a tournament we are here to do something not to look to the media what they are saying or how they are praising us yes we are this is the first time to come here and make such a run and uh, we are trying to continue the run and try to focus uh, on saturday's game because that's the most important thing and it's the biggest game of our life so we we we're not gonna um, we're not going to come and uh, give it away easily like that. We are all focused and uh, ready to face the big battle. Final question. Um, as you guys have done well so far, the eyes of the world is on you guys. So are the eyes of football agents. I've checked your team. I've not seen a name that plays for AC Milan, PSG, Leicester City, Arsenal, do you think that your success so far would help to move some of your teammates and yourself perhaps to bigger clubs in Europe? Yeah, this is an opportunity for all, all the players and uh, Gambia, the young players, because if we come here and show ourselves, the young ones we might have a bright future and for us too to make a good move to, uh, to a higher stage. And uh, it all depends on our performance and uh, where we end up and individual performance uh, as for now we are on the process and uh, the process will continue and uh, the agents watching they they will watch and uh, they will choose their players who they prefer to take but for us we just focus in our game because uh, every player need to focus in your game before you think that someone is yeah. watching me outside i need to do good but first you need to concentrate on uh, the team and uh, your performance and try to help the team because that's the most important thing and after whatever you have what is your luck and whatever you deserve for your work you can take it so that's it fine i wish you all the best against cameroon i hope that you guys dance a very good dance at the end of the game <laughs> thank you thank you so much thank you so much Thank you.